Hello all Articopter fans. Uh, there has been some, some queries to, to show how to properly make the magnetometer offset calibrations and how, how to configure it on, on the Articopter NC code. So here goes, here goes. First of all, uh, the thing what you have been aware of is, is that you have to check that you have is GPS defined, uh, is uh, NEV MTEC define uh, and uh, is MAC define. Those are the three most important ones uh, defines. Basically they should be always uh, activated on, on our trunk code but sometimes uh, if we are testing and, and we are uploading the trunk code and it might be it might be uh, disabled so check them always. And then you have to Activate this one if it's not activated. Uh, this is for the normal, normal uh, MediaTek GPS that is shipped with uh, with uh, default kits. Um, and then one of the most important settings for magnetometer is magnetometer orientation. That is that is the trick. As default, we always try to have this one components up, pins forward, and it means that. When you have a magnetometer, you can easily see that which one which one side is component up and, and when it's down. It's it's easy to see. And also the pins, these are the pins that we are talking about. That if these pins are facing forward where the nose is, then it's always forward, pins forward. If you have some funny setup that you're facing them backwards, then then you have to go and find another line, but try to keep it facing always uh, forward. It's, it's much more easier for the calibration, for the calculations and, and, and uh, also if you have some problems we can help you much more better. So check that one. Okay. I have a here one, one quickly built drone frame, autocopter frame, that have a APM board, one of my test APM boards and if you look at that one, I have the compass mounted shouldered on top of the IMU board. And if I'm looking now the uh, the program code itself, I can clearly see that it's this one line is incorrect for me because, well, my co my components they are facing downward, so I have to change this one. Let's change that. Okay. And while we are uploading it, I can talk more. There it goes. All right. Yeah. So that that uh, components uh, orientation is really important. If you have it incorrectly, well, you will get a lot of incorrect calculation, and, and uh, most probably your heading is never working properly. So make sure that it's correct. Then another thing that you should be aware of is the declination. That is not so important like like uh, the orientation, but it would be good to have that one correctly, especially for the future. It's it's always nice to know what is your current location declination, and um, if you are traveling, let's say 50 or 100 kilometers, you should try to look what is the declination for the new one area, because declination can change even inside one or inside 10, 15 kilometers, and especially if you go close to the mountains, declination can have a big one changes. So, so be careful with that one. The the thing what declination is that. We have a normal north on, a, on a Earth, uh, which is the true north, and then we have the real compass north, because the North Pole is actually not in the North Pole, it's somewhere else, and this declination number is, is a correction, correction number, how we are correcting uh, between the uh, true heading and magnetic heading. So basically, if you don't put that one the only thing is that if you if you entering from uh, in the future from the mission planner or whatever say that okay face heading 320 it might not facing 320 it might be facing 310 because the declination is, is uh, 10 degrees 
off left or right, or west or east. All right, so that's about declination. Now, uh, when you are doing the magnetometer calibration, make sure that you are in in the CLI mode, and you can see easily that you are in CLI mode when you can see this kind of uh, walking LEDs effect. And remember, on this mode, you cannot, I mean, you cannot use configurator. If the LEDs are walking like this, configurator does not work. Remember that one. So if you want to use configurator after you have been doing the basic settings, just click the switch on the other position and reboot your your APM electronics. That's it. And then you then you uh, go to, to another one another one um, mode. Okay. All right. First of all, let's look how to do the calibration itself. So I will click the serial monitor from here. Open that one. There we go, and and we can see that the uh, APM is rebooting. Now there we are. Um, when you are in a, in a CLI mode, make sure that you have carriage return. Otherwise, the CLI mode is not working properly. Okay. So how to do how to do the real calibration then? That's kind of easy. Just rotate, roll, whatever a lot until you have uh, solid numbers. So let's start with that one. Go C, enter. Now we can here we can see currently we have offset numbers like 248, 140, 158. Or I know that they are incorrect, so let's start thing. The thing how I'm doing it always, I just take well from dome center and just rotating rotating my my autocopter many different angles, a lot, I mean 360, 700 or whatever on vertical level and after I have been doing that one I always take from one of the arms and just pull it like that and same thing rotate, rotate, rotate and while I'm rotating I'm looking the numbers that are I mean these one numbers that are they changing okay and then we can take one of the back one arms Rotate, rotate, rotate. Okay. And one last thing is that I will go and do it in upside down. And then we can just do whatever angles like that. Ah, there was some, some changes. Should we? Oh, we have some changes. It doesn't matter which way you are rotating. Just rotate all possible random random directions until you are sure that none of the numbers is changing. Because they shouldn't be changing at all. After they don't change. Yeah. No more changes. Okay. That look uh, 95, 131, 50, 44. Well, it sounds okay. Yeah, it sounds okay. Now, the last thing what I have to do is just save by hitting enter. There we are. Saved offsets. And I can I can check that now the settings are properly saved by having S. And we can see 95, 131.50 and 44. Yeah, that's correct. Also, on, on, on show settings, you can see that I haven't been calibrating uh, accelerometers. Well, let's do that one just for fun. Uh, first of all, let's go here. In it, dosing. And while you are doing it, don't move your your article. Okay. 2052, 2029, 2087. Oh, fine. Good. All right. That's it. Have fun. Go and, and calibrate a lot of your magnometers. See ya. Bye-bye.